Hey there, it's Stephanie Shea, Chief Astrologer for JanSpiller.com with your monthly horoscope and this one's for you Sagittarius. We've got the sun shining in Scorpio as we begin the month of November. It will be in Scorpio all the way through the 20th and this is really going to help to facilitate some honest communications and focused strategies. I would hold off on big commitments until later in the month if possible because as November begins, both Mars and Mercury will be in retrograde, and that really isn't the best time to sign on the dotted line. Now, by mid-month, both of these planets will be direct, and that's going to help evaluate the information you're likely to gather while the sun is in Scorpio. We've got Mercury stationing direct at 25 degrees of Libra on November the 3rd. So if communications have felt a bit scattered and things have seemed unclear, maybe with a friend or within a group, this has been very common during Mercury retrograde cycles. This Mercury retrograde cycle started back on October 13th. Um, so know that you will probably feel some relief after November 3rd, socializing or any type of creative collaborations will get a bit of a boost after this date and there will be an emphasis on efforts that promote equality uh, because of the Libran Mercury is all about finding so equitable solutions. Just keep in mind we're going to be in the shadow phase of this Mercury retrograde cycle until November 20th so as you begin to slowly move forward once Mercury is direct pay close attention to the details and be sure to double check the logistics of any group plans because as we're in what's known as the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde, when it's on its way to returning to where it was when it first stationed direct, uh, we're still feeling some final residual effects of that. So it's a definite proceed with caution sign. Now, November 13th, we've got Mars stationing direct at 15 degrees of Aries. This will end a cycle that began back on September 9th. This is great news. Mars and Aries, as it goes direct, will be offering support for fellow fire signs, Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising people. If you're born on or around December 7th of any year, or if you have around 15 degrees of Sagittarius rising, you're going to feel Mars stationing direct the most, the most personally. If you have been feeling a sense of limitation, and many have under 2020's astrology, Mars retrograde is just one manifestation of what has gotten people to recognize their limits. Um, if you've been feeling this, you're going to be able to, to reclaim some personal freedom after Mars stations direct. A romantic relationship could help to contribute to your optimism and ability to enjoy life. That's one way this could play out. But definitely it's about having more energy and motivation to take action on some of the inspiring ideas that have been brewing in the back of your mind. Staying in the moment and enjoying your process without fixating on a final outcome is really the most helpful way to work with this astrology. It's a very much uh, in the moment kind of uh proceeding when you've got Mars in Aries. It doesn't want you to plan too far down the road so that you can be open to new opportunities. Now, with that said, it's still good to make a basic plan and then be ready to change the plan. And the best time to start setting intentions or thinking about the specifics of a plan you want to implement is around the new moon. The new moon is the most powerful time each month. For manifesting, we've got one on November 15th at 23 degrees of Scorpio. This is going to be an especially good new moon for Sagittarius to set their intentions about 
honest communications, deeper, more meaningful relationships, cultivating some thoughtful daily practices, and listening to your intuition. So there's a bit of a slow down and tune in vibe to this Scorpio new moon coming up. And if you're not already a member of janspiller.com, I encourage you to go over to the website and check out some of our membership options. They can allow you to gain access to the best times to set new moon intentions. It actually makes a difference when you do it uh, to get the most out of this practice. So I hope you can go take a look at that if you haven't already. We've got the sun moving into your sign on the 21st. Happy birthday to any Sagittarius people who are born after November 21st. And as a birthday treat, I've already put up your December horoscope, so be sure and take a look at that. Um, the end of the month is going to be a great time for you to focus on yourself and consider how you can use your knowledge to help others. If you've been considering teaching something, whether it's in a professional capacity or just showing a friend how to do something that you do well, that's very supported under this astrology. Now the November 30th full moon is combined with a lunar eclipse at eight degrees of Gemini. And this is opposing your sun or your rising, depending what you have. If you were born on or around November 30th of any year, or if you have around eight degrees of Sagittarius rising, this is going to be an especially enlightening full moon eclipse for you. You're ready to bring an idea into form. Maybe you've been feeling this for a while. Look for messages and signs that confirm you're on the right path. Um, a lot of times we can see that uh, feel when we're in the flow or not, so to speak. Another person might be what shows you whether your current situation is right or not. Uh, many times people act as a mirror and we can see things more clearly. This is all stuff that could come up around this November 30th full moon. So I hope you can use that to your advantage as well as the rest of November's astrology. Be safe and be well, and I will see you here next month with your horoscope.